All right, Chris, Chris, I was about to say, your first year in Atlanta, uh, I just want to make sure I got this right. Uh, you did play with Justin Tuggle your first year in Atlanta, right? Oh, yeah. I, I, I was about to say, you could embrace us with one of them stories right there. <laughs> hammer. So, so which, which you just got to get, when, when your name is the Hammer. <laughs> so I had to I, 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 I gotta, I gotta regress and, and say this. I had a guy at Stanford. We had a young guy at Stanford who – nicknamed himself the animal, all right? So we all know what that is. That is some straight BS because you can't give yourself a nickname, right? But Jesse <laughs> that is soft-spoken, when he gets the nickname the hammer, it just absolutely says that he brings freaking pain, all right? That, you know, like you can't have a nickname as the hammer and go out with hands on each other like little do this. Like, <laughs> you know if you're yeah, half-stepping, yeah, yeah. you might get thrown out of the club. Like I said earlier, like, it, it, dress code violation, get up out the club. And that, you know, so I guess what to say is that Jesse, amazing player, and, again, just the, just even having the nickname the Hammer really just says, like, you earn that. You know, that's not something that just happens. So to, to be called the hammer where people recognize it, it means you didn't put fire on a bunch of people. Man. Wow. Hey, Jesse will knock your head off, bro. Mm-hmm. I remember coming in as a rookie, and he was still there, and some of them goal line practices that Dan Rees would have, and I would have to chip on the nose or the two and climb up on Jesse. Now, you know Jesse about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and if you don't get low, <laughs> Bruh, he gonna not he gonna cockroach you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ever seen the dead cockroaches? They be on the ground. Man, dog, like I remember I like my first couple times hitting him. Now, you know, I'm I'm playing with a lot of fire trying to make the squad. So I'm like, man, yo, if I if I can get the hem up out of here, you know, you know, I'll look good on tape. Man. That joker's so strong. Y- y'all don't understand how strong he is, man. And this was year 14 for him, right, Dre? <laughs> yeah. This was year 14. And I was just like, God, Lee, man, this joker's so strong. 14. And, yeah, like, so we hit each other. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, like, he was – you know what? I, I, with that said, I will say, man, Jesse was so cool because being a young guy coming in, Jesse would talk to you for hours – just about his path, you know, because Jesse was a like back when they had 13, 14 rounds, you know, coming from Valdosta State. And I think he told me one time he was like the sixth or seventh linebacker on the roster at one time. And so he just, you know, hearing his story gave me and some of the other guys, I don't know about, you know, how it did for them, but I know for me, it gave me a lot of motivation. Like, man, you know what? You can be a low round pick or fridge. And, you know, because y'all, I was a seven round. That gave me a lot of inspiration like man yo i can come in and do this thing man this guy right here did it you know and he's he wasn't your prototypical linebacker size you know for middle linebacker he was about 510 by 240 but he'll he'll mm-hmm. drop that thing on you you know what i'm saying and you come in there slipping and jesse was just so cool i see him to this day man and he's same as ever man that's yeah. you know that's uh to me he needs to be in the hall of fame he should be in the hall of fame not just Maybe if not for his playing ability, but just for the type of person he is.